continuation to the previous lectures in this lecture also we are going to do a problem on metric spaces in this we are given the set that is r that is set of all real numbers and the metric is defined to be the absolute value of x square minus y square right we all know that this x square minus y square is also a member of r okay and absolute of any value in r is going to be a non negative quantity this tells me that absolute of x square minus y square is non negative right now the second condition x square minus y square is zero this tells me x square minus y square is zero okay and this gives me x square is y square and this gives me what this gives me x is equal to plus or minus y i am not exactly getting only one possibility i am having two possibilities here comes the trouble for us okay if we are asked to check whether this is a metric or not at this moment itself we can stop and say that this is not a metric okay let us go further and see whether it satisfies other conditions or not supposing x is equal to y okay this gives me that x square is same as that of y square and this gives me x square minus y square is zero and this gives me absolute of x square minus y square is zero that is d of x comma y is zero if we take x and y are same then we get the metric to be zero right but if we take the metric to be zero we are not assured with x and y are same we have other possibility as well second one that is d of x y that is say e that is equal to absolute of x square minus y square this is uh, minus times of y square minus x square and this is nothing but absolute of y square minus x square and this is d of y comma x okay let us go to the third one that is triangle inequality x square minus y square without affecting the values adding and subtracting z square and this is going to split this into x square minus z square plus absolute of z square minus y square and this is d of x y plus sorry d of x z plus d of is at y and this proves the triangle inequality of this function okay here what is not satisfied the only condition that is not satisfied is this when i was defining the metric space i have defined something else too. that is semi metric or pseudo metric a pseudo metric or semi metric is uh, is the mapping that satisfies these conditions that is it satisfies all the conditions of a metric space except this one that is d of x comma y equals zero need not imply x and y are same okay that is exactly happening here and this is an example of a semi metric so with this semi metric this becomes a semi metric space thank you